Carolina lawmakers are back in Raleigh for the start of what looks to be a very contentious session. This is the long legislative session, meaning it should last well into the summer. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick joins us live from the General Assembly with a closer look at what we can expect. Bo? Beershall lawmakers are going to be sworn in today, and that will happen in both chambers. The Senate over on this side and the House over on this side. They also will be electing their officers today. What you won't see, you won't see any debate on the floor about laws or bills today. But again, this doesn't mean that this won't be a contentious session over the next few months. The battle lines have already been drawn between Republican leadership and Democratic Governor Roy Cooper on issues like expanding Medicaid in North Carolina and, of course, also about repealing House Bill 2. I asked lawmakers today how they foresee both sides being able to work together. There is clear mistrust on both sides. I could eat up your time right now trying to assess blame for that. That gets us nowhere. There's only a few ways really to rebuild trust or to initially build trust, and that's small steps, uh, working together on small issues. The first step in working together is to have a conversation, to state what your priorities are, and to try to see how can you get where you want to go, what's behind what you're wanting to do, where is there common ground. Um, the governor thus far has not really shown an effort to do that. And after today's pomp and circumstance, lawmakers will return for the substantive start of session in two weeks. In the meantime, they'll be working on bills, so they will have something to address once they return on January 25th. Live in Raleigh, Bowman, CBS, North Carolina.